Hi, I'm Leah Savoli, and you're watching Mingle Media TV's Red Carpet Report. Tonight, we are at the 2011 Braveheart Women Awards, where we are about to meet so many amazing and inspiring women. Let's get inspired. Sharon, you are being honored tonight with the Courage Award. Deeply honored, yes. Wow. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about this journey that's brought you to this point? Uh, well, I'm an ovarian cancer survivor. That was a, uh, a life journey from 2000 to 2003. And I was inspired by that experience to create Bald is Beautiful, my, my one-woman mission to expand uh, social notions of beauty and femininity, empower women to define them for themselves on their own terms, and also ovarian cancer awareness, actually, specifically. What, what kind of events does Bald is Beautiful do? Is it more about awareness and raising funds? It's, um, it's, more, it's not fundraising right now, okay. but it is definitely... It could be, <laughs> but it's, there we go. We just <laughs> it's definitely a, awareness, uh, and I have a website baldersbeautiful.org. So it's uh, and I do outreach work through their website, and I do spokesperson appearances, and and for for young people and people of all ages actually. And I just I just do kind of it's like I said it's kind of a one woman army. So right now it's just any kind of outreach and representation I can do and and help people uh, understand the experience either from the caregivers' point of view or from the patient's point of view and you know, my sister was my main caregiver and my soulmate, my roommate and my soulmate. Yeah. We're twins. Um, so, you know, I, uh, it's amazing how just through my experience and then through her that it just kind of expands out that everybody learns from the experience of how from the different sides we're all on the journey together, the caregivers and the patients. So everybody needs the same compassion and understanding. Absolutely. I was talking about this earlier with some of the other recipients about you're, you're dealt with that kind of blow and you, there's so many options that you could do, you know, but instead yeah. not only did you choose to fight for yourself, but to fight for others and get it out there and yes. turn it into something beautiful. Yes, that yeah. was kind of, I, I don't know how, where the moment <laughs> happened actually. Uh, I did a photo shoot actually for myself just when I lost my hair for myself and it just felt so amazing and then I just realized, wow, light bulb moment. Oh, if everyone had this kind of positive, fun experience or saw, saw that more in the media, they can have a positive reference Absolutely. with a, an experience that is supposed to be very devastating. And it is those things too, but we have the power in every moment to choose how we experience things. And if we're already going through hell, we don't need to carry society's baggage with us. So. No, not at all. <laughs> and it's absolutely about getting it out there, getting yes. these kinds of messages out there. Yes. Have you been involved with Braveheart Women prior to this event? No, this is the first time. And, and you're winning an award. And I'm yes, getting an award. Heck of an award. Courage Award. <laughs> yes. So I'm just, so proud I'm man. really humbled and honored, and I just love the name of the organization itself, Braveheart, and it's so brave and heart, and Braveheart Warrior, it's vibe, it's just, so I, much. it's amazing. It's very inspiring, yes. Awesome. Well, congratulations and Thank you. to both of you and thanks for stopping by and best of luck yeah. with everything. Thank you very much. You're thanks welcome. for being here. Thank you so much.